The MSI MAGB560 M Mortar Wi-Fi is a feature-packed micro ATX motherboard supporting the latest 11th gen Intel Core processors. Hello everyone, my name is Ira and today we'll have a quick video for you guys where we'll unbox and look at the newest iteration of the ever popular MAG Mortar Wi-Fi motherboard lineup using the Intel B560 chipset. Unboxing is pretty straightforward. Here in this box, you will find the usual MSI paperwork along with a case badge, stickers, SATA cables, screwdriver, driver CD, Wi-Fi antennas, and M.2 mounting screws. Giving a closer look at the B560M mortar Wi-Fi, you can see that it has the classic Arsenal gaming aesthetic with military style accents on the heatsink. Feature-wise, you get a premium cooling solution with the extended heatsink design that ensures even high-end processors will run at full performance even on your load. This is thanks to the digital PWM power design that uses a dual rail power system combined with 8 plus 4 pin CPU power connections for stability. Another one of my favorite features of this motherboard is the Wi-Fi 6E wireless connection that supports 6 GHz spectrum that allows internet speeds up to 2400 Mbps. It also comes with 2.5 GB LAN out of the box for a better network experience. On the expansion side, the M.2 slot has a heatsink that keeps my SSD safe from thermal throttling and improves stability. The M.2 PCIe slot also supports PCIe Gen 4 SSDs when paired with an 11 Gen Intel Core processor. It also has a nifty BIOS features where you can select what type of CPU cooler are you using so you can determine the PL1 states for you. We will now take some performance numbers on this motherboard and see how it fares with the 11th gen Intel processor that I have right now.
With the current setup that I have right now, I can determine that the MAG B560M Mortar Wi-Fi is a capable motherboard that can handle even the highest tier of processors. But of course, I wouldn't recommend using an unlocked processor on a B560 chipset as you will need CPU overclocking features to maximize the Core i9's potential. But either way, memory overclocking support is very much welcome as high-speed memory is now becoming the norm. Our motherboard heavily influences the Core i9's behavior and it is good to see that we are not being limited in terms of CPU frequency and power despite this being a B560 chipset. Overall, I would recommend you guys to pair this motherboard with a locked processor like the non-K Core i7s or Core i5. So that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, do subscribe on MSI Philippines at YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.